hi guys welcome once again to my channel if today is your first time you are welcome hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel like this video and share with others and also to my already subscriber thank you very much for being on this journey with me the support and the love i appreciate it so much and i hope you are learning something great that is any new something extra or also making a business for you so in today's video i'll be showing how to make this beautiful bag so stay connected and let's make this together so these are the materials that we'll be using to make the bag so we have our white and blue bead we have our scissors we have our 0.7 mm thread we also have our magnetic hook a lot have been asking of how to fix it so i'll be showing it in today's video and we also have our needle so these are the items that we'll be using So you cut a thread of a length that you can manage, then you pick four beads, put it on it, then you cross with the fourth one. You put all through one edge of the thread, then you cross with the fourth one. So this is the first step. After crossing with the fourth one, you'll be getting something like this, like this, like a ring all around. So to continue, you put one bead each on each thread and cross with another one, making three beads in this process. So one on each of the thread, then you cross with the third one. You pull it down. So as you continue to do it, you'll be getting something like this. As you can see, you'll be getting something like this. So you continue this process until you get to the 14th one so we'll be turning to the other side on the 14th one okay so continue watching and you understand what i mean so continue weaving until you get it long up to 14 okay so this is 13 chain and we'll be turning on the 14th one so to turn we'll put all the three bits on one thread then we'll cross with the third one to make our thread to turn to the other side for us to continue weaving alongside the first chain so watch me as i do this So this is the full 14 chain, okay? So we are going to continue weaving alongside this chain and to do that, put the th uh, all the three beads on the top thread. Then you cross with the third one. Just like this. So you have to put the thread inside the next bead like this then you take the other thread and take two beads and put on it but you cross with the second one just like this so we are going to continue with two beads so we get to the last chain the so we get to the end of this chain so we are going to continue you take two beads, you cross with the second one, then you put the thread inside the next bead, then you take the other thread, you put two on it, you cross with the other one. So we are going to continue this process until we get to the end.
Now to turn to the other side and continue within, you use the thread that is on your right, okay, and put the two bits on it. First, we used to use the thread that is on our left, but to turn, you have to use the one that is on your right, okay. So you realize that the thread has turned to the other side for you to continue within. So you just take the top thread and put three bits on it and cross with the third one and continue weaving down So you have to continue weaving alongside until you have six. Okay, so this is the we are going to make three in addition to it. So when you, after that it will be six. So now the we are on the seat one. Okay, we are about to complete the seat one, but the thread is almost finished. So I'll pass it through a few beads i'll bring the two threads together and i'll be tying it okay then we'll take another thread to join some people may not know this so i try to do it on this video for you to see how i hide my excess thread or leftover thread okay so now i'll just tie it i'll take a new thread I'll put it inside the beads that I've been weaving with. So just as I'm doing, as you can see, you put a new thread inside like that. You pull up, make sure the two threads are equal, okay? Then you continue weaving. So just continue weaving down to the end of what we are doing. Then So as we have weaved to the end of it, now we have 6 by 14, okay, 6 by 14. So now we are going to start shaping it, okay. So what we'll do is that we are going to start weaving from the second back last to the other end second but last okay so we are going to continue reducing it at each point okay at each each stage for us to get the shape we wanted or the shape in this bag so what i'm doing now is that i'm trying to bring the thread out of out from the second but one bead yes yeah, so as you can see that is what i'm doing because this thread is long i can't cut it out so what i'll do is that i'll try to make use of it by bringing it together from to where i want to start weaving from 
so that is what i'm doing so just continue washing me and i i'm sure you will get it so as i've said we are ending on the last but one bit okay so this is it so we are now moving all the way to the last bit okay just for us to get the shape we wanted so as you can see the shape at the first side is the same as the end of it so now we will move to the next next step okay then we'll move the we we'll start moving from last but one to the last but one at the other end as well so we are going to repeat this four times four times okay so just continue watching me as i do it and you will get it So now this thread is also at the last but one bit so we are going to weave down to the last but one bit at the bottom end okay so just continue weaving alongside what I'm doing and you also get the same thing. So I'll just continue weaving down, okay? Yes, as you can see, I've weaved to the last but one end of the next step, okay? So I'll just complete it. So we are ending on the last one here. So as you can see, we are done at this end too and the shape is forming, okay? So we are going to continue to do the same thing. We'll move the thread to the last but one bit and weave down to the last but one bit. But here, this thread is almost finished. So I'll just end it by bringing, passing it through 
several bits and bring the two together and just tie it okay then after that i'll take a new thread to begin the next step so continue watching me and you get it guys please watch my video don't just download it it doesn't help me okay i need your help i need your help to to encourage me to continue doing what i'm doing because i know you're also learning something great it will end you in calm or it will motivate you and you get happy after doing everything i posted here so also help me subscribe watch the video for some time before if you download okay thank you very much so now i'll take a new thread okay and insert in the last but one and weave down to the last but one so continue watching me So now I'm done with the first side, okay? I'm done with the first side of the back. So I'll just tie the excess thread and just finish up the down, okay? So now we are done. So now we are done. We have six all round. So when you count how I'm counting it, you also get six all round, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing at the top, at the other side. But when I'm doing it at the other side, how the down part is six, the top is going to be eight, okay? That is where our opening is going to be. How we did the down part and leave six space, we are going to leave eight space at the top. So I'll just do the other side off camera because this video will be too long. So the same thing I did at the downside is the same thing I'll do at the top. But what I'm doing is that the top side will be left with eight, not six. Okay. I hope you get it.
so guys as you can see i'm almost done with the top side as well so you can really like, you can see that the shape we formed at the down part is the same shape we are forming at the top side okay but the top side is bigger by one because of that place is going to be the opening okay so directly opposite the top is six then the top is eight i'll count it for you to see okay so we are done the thread is finished so i'll just bring the thread together and tie it before i'll continue So after you bring the thread together, you just have to tie a knot and tie it very firmly two times and after that you just cut the excess thread. Okay. Okay, so now we are done. So the first three side that I'm counting is six, 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 six. So the top is it, okay? So now we are done, okay? So we are just going to weave all around. Okay, we weave all around it to be able to cover up for the side space okay so we just start from where i'm showing you then you weave to the other side the same place okay okay so as i put the thread inside i'll just pick three of the white glass bead okay then i'll cross and pull it down so i'm going to weave in each of the beads around the from where I started from to the other side, okay. So just continue watching me how I'm moving it, and you also get it, okay.
so as you can see we weaved and we have gotten to the last end okay but we are going to weave two steps all around so when we end it here we are going to continue we'll step up and continue weaving to the other side again making it two steps all around okay so continue doing it as i'm also doing and you'll get it So we are just going to weave to the other end again and as you can see where I left the eighth space is the opening of the back okay so continue weaving up so as we all know if you want to start another step we use three beads so we start with three beads and put the thread in the next bead on what you have already weaved then you continue with two beads each to, to weave to get to the other end of it making it two steps around what we have weaved okay So continue weaving up to the other end okay to make the all round two steps all round okay So guys, as you can see, we are done with this process as well, okay? We are done. So we are actually going to make two of it. So I've made one off camera and this is the second one I've shown you. So you also go ahead and do the same thing, two, two of it, okay? Then we'll bring it together and we'll be joining it. But first, we have to do the cover and also fix the magnetic hook first so first we are going to start with the cover so i'm just going to weave forth and back forth and back so i get 12 times i'm going to i'll be leaving one at each side okay then so because the opening is eight 
I'll be leaving one at each side, making it six. So I'll continue weaving from the first to the last, from the first to the last till I get to 12. So just continue watching me and you also get what I'm doing.
so as you can see i'm almost done with the cover okay so when you count from where i started from to where i'm ending it it will be 12 it will be 12 okay So now I've ended it. I've ended it. So I'll just bring the thread together and tie it. And that that will be it for the for the cover as well. So now I'm I'm done with the cover as well. When you count, you'll be getting 12. 12. Okay, so I'll just tie the SS thread and cut it off. So this is it for the cover as well. So now we'll be fixing the magnetic hook. One will be on the cover and one will be on the other side of the bag. So you just count is six, okay? So you count three apart and put it in the middle. Then you take your thread and needle. I put 0 0.3 thread into the needle. So I'll just try to seal it into the, the space I want it to be. So this particular hook, you just have to sew it on any of the thread available thread among them what you have whipped i don't know if you get it but just continue watching and i hope you get it guys please pardon me i use my phone to do the 
video all the time and I don't know that the thing was not really showing so pardon me but I just hope you all get it I don't know it has shifted away from the camera but as you can see the small small holes around the magnetic hook I try to pass the thread through it then I'll find a way to pass it through any of the bit or the thread I used to weave the bit just to keep it firm so just do the same thing all around I'm sure if you are you have the magnetic hook you get what I'm saying then you just try to tie it around when you are done with all the four side so I'm sorry if it wasn't showing but in my next video I'll try to do the same thing and I hope by then it will show for you to see well So after I seal it all round, I'm just trying to tie it with the thread, then I'll cut it off. But I'm not going to fix the other side on camera, if not this video will be too long. Okay, so the same thing, how I fix this one, in the same way I'm going to fix the other side on the back. Okay.
so as you can see the same way i attached the magnetic hook to the cover is the same way i attach the other side of the hook magnetic hook to the other back other side of the back so now what i'll be doing is that i'll bring the two sides of the back together and close it then after i'll start joining it from the side to make the back complete okay so what i'll do is that as usual as you normally do on this channel how we joined the back because it's like my phone camera has no fully coverage how i want you to see okay so now you take the thread there is an excess thread from the side weaving so we'll take that same excess thread then the top thread you i'll put one bit on it okay i'll put one bit on it like this then i'll put it inside the other side of the back one bit there guys please pardon me it, it was not showing and i didn't know Okay, so if you can see check out my other videos on the channel i showed on how to join two sides of the back together so if you are new here and joining it is difficult for you please just check out my other videos and i hope you get it so guys as you can see we are done we are done joining it and the shape has just come out so this is an octagon beaded bag okay the sides are eight eight sided beaded bag shape okay so now the sx thread that is left from joining it i'll start using it to make the handle so this is our bag so i just take the ss thread and put one bit each on the thread and cross with the third one So this is how 
I have been doing it from the beginning. I'll put one bit on each of the thread, then I'll cross with the third one. So that is how I've started it. So I'm going to make a chain of 65. But first, I'll make a chain of 64. Then I join it with a 65th one. So to join the handle to the other side of the bag, you just after making the 64th uh, chain, the fifth one, the 60, uh, 60th one, you cross the bead. So you put one bead each on the thread. Then, as you can see, then the middle bead. We use it to cross it so you leave two at each side and the middle one which is the one in the middle you use it to cross so after crossing it you realize that it has joined with the other side of the back then what we do is that you pass the thread through several bits and just tie it so after that you are done with the bag I hope you enjoyed this video guys please if you are not following me on my social media handle that is Facebook Twitter and Instagram just do that because I upload videos there as well and post pictures there which you can see and ask for videos on them because at times I have to make the decision on my own too create a video for you so if i post the video or the picture on my instagram page you can just ask oh please can you make a video on this for me then i'll know that oh my viewers would like to see this as well so just click on the link in my description box below to just follow me on instagram or facebook and let's connect to each other I would like to chat with you in the comment section. So if you have any other question to ask, just ask me in the comment section. I will be glad to answer you. Ask questions on my Instagram pages so that I will be able to do voicemail if necessary for you to get it raw. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video and share. People, are, you guys are not sharing my videos. I beg of you, okay? Please share my video. I'll be glad and very happy to see more of my video going viral. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in my next video. Bye.